What up everyone, I am Dwayne Smithers, aka DS Poet. In this video, we are talking about 5 vocal tips. Let's get into it, shall we? Here we are in Southern New Window, my doll of choice. The spoken word vocals were recorded with the Austrian Audio OC18 microphone going into the Neve Shepherd channel with 2 dB of compression. Let's take a listen. Without Christ in my life, I'd be so gone. Without Christ in my life, I wouldn't be that strong. Probably be somewhere high like Cheech and Chong. Perusing Miami beaches, you know, chasing them thongs. Get mad at some girl for doing me wrong. Dog her out lyrically in one of my rap songs. Shoot a video, put it on YouTube. For it to be viewed by y'all. Some won't like it. Others will be like, yeah, that's my dog. Say anything. Do anything. Just to get some applause. Splurge. On the latest fashion. You know, cover my flaws. Get a loan from the bank. Make it rain. Pretend that I ball. Rent the tightest whip. You know. Hit up the mall. Some of y'all, so blind, you don't see through the fog. Believe anything, you read them blogs. There's a way to seem right, but in the end, you fall. Got the nerve to blame God when your life goes wrong. So without Christ in my life, I be so gone. Without Christ in my life, I wouldn't be that strong. Before I do anything to my vocals, the first thing that I do is check my vocal levels. And the way that I do that is with this plugin right here. It is called the Uline Loudness Meter 2 Pro. This is my favorite meter. It is only 39 bucks and to me, it is worth it. So I wanna make sure that my vocal levels sit anywhere between a negative 20 to a negative 19 which is right here which is integrated so let's see if we are right here at that number get mad at some girl for doing me wrong dog her out lyrically in one of my rap songs shoot a video put it on youtube for it to be viewed by y'all some won't like it others will be like yeah that's my dog Say anything, do anything, just to get some applause. Splurge on the latest fashion, you know, cover my flaws. So, as you can see, we are hitting this meter at the right target level. The second thing that I do is vocal cleanup. And for this, I use RX-7 by Acetope. Now, all I'm gonna do Let's go up to this vocal, hit right click, go to plugins, default, go down to Azotope, RX7 connect, and boom, there it is, hit apply. And then this window pops up, no. Open the file, and the first thing I'm gonna do is voice denoise basic default setting hit render then hit spectral denoise pull that up go to the beginning of the audio clip and drag it out highlight it then hit learn and then click out then hit render And then the last one is map the click default settings hit render everything's good everything's good then watch this show send back to the window press apply to commit to changes apply 
And there it is right there. This feature alone, the integration between the window and RX7 Connect is the main reason why I ditched Studio One for the window. Yes, you heard that right. I ditched Studio One for the window because of this feature and many other features. Tip number three, remove the room noise from your vocal recordings. Now, the room that I record in is about 90 to 95% treated. And when I record my vocals, I still get a little bit of room noise within my vocal recording. Now, UAD just came out with a new plugin called Cvox. And I gotta tell you, this plugin is amazing. It's expensive, but it's amazing. So let's do a before and after. But before we get into that, all that I did, went to the preset window and I went through some of these presets and I landed on the male vocal medium room because again, my room ain't that big. It's a medium sized room. And all I did was hit this and these numbers came up. Now let's do a before and after. So this is a before. Let's go back to the beginning real quick. Without Christ in my life, I'd be so gone. Without Christ in my life, I wouldn't be that strong. Probably be somewhere high like Cheech and Chong. Perusing Miami beaches. You know, chasing them thongs. Get mad at some girl for doing me wrong. Dog a rap lyrically in one of my rap songs. Shoot a video, put it on YouTube for it to be viewed by y'all. Some won't like it. Others will be like, yeah, that's my dog. Say anything, do anything just to get some applause. Splurge on the latest fashion, you know, cover my flaws. I like how solid this plugin makes my vocals sound. Now, I've been debating, number one, treat my room all the way like I should. Number two, build me a vocal booth or in the meantime, continue to use this plugin because as you can see, I have it on demo for eight more days and this plugin is expensive at $349. You heard that right, $349. So I will continue to evaluate this plugin and I will keep y'all posted. Tip number four, vocal rider by Waves. I know a lot of engineers use this many different ways, but I'm gonna show you how I use it. I use vocal rider to level up my vocals. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So these are my settings. A slow attack. My target is minus 17. Now my range is two and minus two. And the purpose of this is to get this fader to barely move up and down, barely move up and down. Let's take a listen. Let's start from right here. Get mad at some girl for doing me wrong. Dog her out lyrically in one of my rap songs. Shoot a video, put it on YouTube for it to be viewed by y'all. Some won't like it. Others will be like, yeah, that's my dog. Say anything, do anything, just to get some applause. Splurge on the latest fashion, you know, cover my flaws. As you can see, this fader is barely moving up and down. And that's what I wanted to do to help smooth out my vocals. Now, if I wanted to, I could stop there, but you know me, I'm not. So even though this is a good way to use it, but there's another trick to this pony, check it out. So all I'm gonna do is go up here, you see right here, right automation, go down to the plugin, right automation, go all the way back to the beginning, 
and play the vocal all the way through. What happened right here? I'm gonna tell you what happened. This fader wrote the automation into this vocal track. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First, let's move this down a little bit and go right here, right click, show use automation, then boom. You see these points right here? This is the automation from the fader from Vocal Rider. This thing is so smooth, y'all. Now, if I spread it out, guess what I can do? I can go through each point and adjust them as I see fit. So let's say if I think this part is a little bit too loud, and boom, just drag it down. If I think this part is too loud, just drag it down. If I think this part is too low, guess what I can do? I can drag it up. Now, I can go through each point and do this. A, this right here is a game changer. So this is why I like using Boca Rider for tip number four. Tip number five, the last tip is removing plosives. I record with the condenser microphone, but they pop killer. Yes, this pop killer is the bomb.com. And as much as I like it, it still does not remove all of my plosives. In times past, what I would do is go out throughout my vocal track and find all the P's. Let's find one real quick. Probably B right there. And so I would chop it and then I would do a crossfade. Then hit the rewind. B that strong. Probably B. I don't got time for that. It's time consuming. So I learned to work smarter and not harder. And one plugin that I use for this is Plosive Removal by Accusonis. I like this plugin. Why? It's a one knob plugin that is really easy to use. So let's listen to it with it on. Without Christ in my life, I wouldn't be that strong. Probably be summer highlight like Cheech and Chong. With it off. I wouldn't be that strong. Probably be summer highlight like Cheech and Chong. With it on, one more time. I wouldn't be that strong. Probably be summer high like Cheech and Chong. Now, without the plosive removal, you will hear the pa, 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 pa. But when I turn it back on, you will see how that pa, pa, pa is really a lot more smoother. I wouldn't be that strong. Probably be summer high like Cheech and Chong. Perusing Miami beaches, you know, chasing them thongs. To me personally, my vocals sound a whole lot better with these five tips. Again, these five tips is what I do before I mix my vocals with EQ, compression, saturation, and effects. Now these tips, it may not work for you, but you know what, they work for me. And what I've learned is that you gotta find out what works for you. Will this change for me? Probably not. Hey, if it ain't broke, why fix it? So, thank you for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.